All right, here we go. We're going to uh, take a look at the kitchen and see what we got in the pantry and the uh, fridge, freezer, and what we got on the countertop, all right? And here we go into the pantry. Down here, we got some paleo kits. This is just jerky, nuts, and some berries. It's got the zone information on the back. It's got some protein, four protein, two carbs, and seven fat. It's a great snack in the emergency. Um, here on the first shelf, you can see I got some cashews, more cashews and peanuts and almonds, some walnuts, and a guilty pleasure. I have some bare naked uh, protein. It's organic, all natural granola. I put it in my shakes. All right. Second shelf here, I got extra virgin olive oil, balsamic vinaigrette. In the back here, I got some soy sauce when I cook with it sometimes. I have red sauce, some pineapples. Then I have some uh, crackers for the guests. Um, on the third shelf here, I have my beans, my legumes, olives, and some stuff like that. And on the top shelf, I have my breakfast food. And this is my breakfast of choice every morning. Oatmeal, full oats. Then I have some cereal for guests. I don't eat any of that stuff, but people that come over do. So you got to be prepared. Um, going on to the top of the refrigerator, I have my protein. It's just 100% whey. I um, have my juicer. That can be pretty exciting when it's used. Um, all right, now to the holy grail, the fridge. On the top shelf, we got some coconut water. It's got... Uh, 100% coconut water. It's uh, got a lot of electrolytes in, electrolytes in it. Great for post-workout or in the middle of a workout. I have some butter up here. That's been in here since about August. Um, on this shelf, we have the condiments. Um, some garlic, ginger, some, some salsa, lemon, peppers, some stuff like that. Just some good stuff to have in the fridge. I don't use much of it often. Some juice, again, for guests. I don't drink that. Here you see I have egg whites. I don't eat full eggs. Um, so I just I buy the egg whites and this is lactose free milk not perfect I know milk isn't great, but I make shakes in a pinch and here's some salad dressing I uh, put that on my salads. I try just to get some olive oil and some vinaigrette no sugars or omega-6s in there All right, we start in the bottom drawer here the bottom drawer you see I have grapes. I have salad broccoli, so I have broccolini more mixed greens and some lettuce Here I have some crab some crab meat right here, which is good for salads. Have some uh, ground meat I gotta cook today. I'm gonna, you know, make some uh, maybe some chili or something. I have peppers, orange and red. More mixed greens. Um, then here is I have my lunch meats. I have turkey and ham. More turkey and ham. And then as you can see below here, I have a turkey breast, and I have in that bag venison jerky. Mmm, real good for the snack. Um, top shelf, I have carrots, all natural organic peanut butter. I have some guacamole, it's avocado, it's great, it's great fat, coming 100 calorie packed, it's good for your fat. I have organic salsa, so there's no sugar in it. Um, hummus for some good carbs, uh, some more guacamole, and I have some old, uh, cottage cheese back there. I gotta get rid of that. And I have some water. And again, for the guests, I have uh, some iced tea. Alright. Moving on up to the ref the freezer, rather. I have frozen strawberries, frozen blueberries for my shakes. F a lot of frozen veggies. I have spinach, I have beans, I have broccoli. I'm moving into the main compartment. More mixed fruit for smoothies. More, uh, more veggies frozen meat and frozen bananas so just a bunch of frozen veggies great for the carbs and nice and quick all right onto the countertop bananas oranges apples that's all you need for a carbohydrates right there three blocks for a banana two blocks for an orange one block for an apple it's great when you're in a pinch or you're on the road have some peanuts here you can see I have my blender and stuff like that um, and I guess I can show you the spices I got. Up top, I have the tea. Second here, I have Pam. I put that on my pans. And I have some, you know, coffee stuff for people that want coffee when they come over, but I don't really use that. 
and just your normal spices in here, cinnamon and peppers and stuff like that, to spice up the paleo zone diet a little bit. Um, and that should be about it. You can see my table. I have my supplements, and uh, I usually have balance bars, but I'm all out of them, but I use those. You'll see me use one later today in my uh, workout, post-workout meal. All right, so that's my uh, food diary for the kitchen, and, uh, you know, keep an eye out for the meal diary of the whole day. All right, see you later.